Look, it's you and me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today we are at the Consignment Consortium. Um, we haven't been here in a little while, so they should have some new stuff, and it's a little bit different from Goodwill and Salvation Army. So hopefully we can find something. So this place is kind of cool. It used to be a restaurant slash bars over there back in the 80s. Oh, they have stuff out here, 50% off. Easter. Oh, look at the bunny. That's chocolate for two ninety nine. It'll be a dollar fifty. I think I'll get that. Anything else? Check. Um, not really. I like those mugs. <laughs> Anything down here? Ooh, uh, that has some age to it. From the eighties. Yeah, that's Midwest, from the eighties. Made in Hong Kong. Oh, that's older. Let's get that. A little Easter egg for 50 cents. Get that. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. Oh, that has the sugar coating. Oh, here's another egg. Get that one. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was the old ones. It's a glass. Oh, that looks like Vaseline glass. Pretty sure, pretty sure that glows. I gotta check it. Alright, it doesn't glow. <laughs> I had to check. Oh, look at this. Ooh. A vintage bunny bank. Look at that. Alright, I'm not seeing anything else. I'm trying to see if these are older. Oh, here's a couple more, Michael. Uh, that's broken. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one. Busted. Here's that one. You got a basket? <laughs> yeah. Alright, I just wanna make sure there's no more. Here's another one. Ooh. Let me see if I can pop that out. No, it's cracked. Okay. Alright, let's see if there's anything over here. Have some dice. Look at this metal girl. I keep looking at her. Made in China. Hey, what about that pottery back there? What's that? The um, pottery. Yes. Yeah. Um, that actually that looks... On it. Okay. Alright, I want to go back here. That's where all the glass is and it's 25% off. have a lot of clear glass. Let me see if there's any Fostoria. I see some blue under there. Ooh, there's some carnival glass. Alright, let me adjust, take this out. There we go. That looks like it might be Fenton. It's definitely antique. A little chip on the base and it's green. A little bit of wear for her $10. Um, I might do that. Let me put it aside for now. I see a butterfly back here. Ceramic, um, just a hobbyist. For four dollars, and it has a chip on it. All right, now I want to sneak back here and see what there is. <laughs> oh, that's a is that a resin paperweight? It is. It's a little bit newer though. Design craft, probably from like the eighties. What about down here? It's the king's crown, that's a gold. Maybe 
There's a glassy baby. <laughs> um, kind of like this ruby red glass. Oh, let me see if those glow. Um, no, I don't think they glow. No, I would have paid $2.99 each if they did glow. All right, I'm not seeing anything over here. Hey, what's down here? Ooh, it's a tight squeeze. All right, I got it out. <laughs> That's some um, fused glass, but it's chipped. I totally would have gotten that. Oh, well. All right, let's see what's up here. Some pottery. Oh, that's nice. For $10, and it's signed. KM. I gotta peel that. K Nap 1990. Almost looks like a Raku. But the bottom isn't black, but the outside has that look for $10. Um, I mean, I could look that up and see if that's a known artist. Let me take a look at this elephant. Oh, it's not an elephant. What is that, a dinosaur? I can't really tell. It is um, redware for two ninety nine. Let me grab that. I wonder if there's a creamer anywhere. I mean, uh, sugar. <laughs> I don't know where my head is today. Let me find Michael. Look at this pig. Oh, it's, um... That's, um, I believe from the 90s. Terracotta country animal. Made in Taiwan. Right, I don't know where Michael went. Oh, there you are. Did you find anything? <laughs> this is all the kitchen. Um, I don't really see anything. Like these. Oh yeah. Twelve ninety nine. Ah. It's a little bit much for that. Some Italian. Mm, I didn't even see that. Three ninety six. It's not bad for four dollars. Let's grab that. It's not that heavy, so it won't crush the eggs. Oh, look at this blue glass. Oh, that's cool. It has blue, it has different color um, feet for $7.99. <laughs> all the clear glass. Let me go back here. Hey, what is that? Look at the blue. Um, that's Czechoslovakia. And that's um Royal Copenhagen. Arsene Denmark. Um, oh, it has cats on it. Mother's Day, 1971, for $2.99. Ooh, these have, um... Let's see if that's hand-painted. I can't tell. We might have to get a price on these. That's different. Let me take a look at the other ones. Oh, yeah, they're all the same. All right, I gotta put those aside. I'm not sure about the saucers without the cups. Yeah. All right, I wanted to take a look at these tiles. Um, Dallas, Texas, Japan. <laughs> Be some pottery. 
It's a little planter newer. With a, ooh, geez. A blue willow, Japan. All right, I gotta take a look through the stack of bowls. Feltograph. Oh, that's Pier 1. Bohemian. That's Pier 1. That one has a chip. That says Italy. Italy. And Pier 1. Oh, Feltograph. <laughs> I love trying to guess. Feltograph. Oh, here's some enamel plates. Ooh, other oh, covers. I think for your stove, maybe. Could be wrong. I just want to see the snowman plate. 1999. It's the hobbyist plate. Alright, I see some. Tissue box covers. Oh, there's two of them. Ooh. Oh, there's a name on it. Celebrity Inc. New York, New York. Um, two ninety nine. And there's two. I'm trying to figure out what age that is. Hmm. Oh, does that hang on the wall? Ah, it does. I love it. I might just have to get it for $2.99. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually going, going to leave these. A lot of people have them listed and not enough sold. So it's not a smart choice. That's the brown bag cookie stamp for $4.99. Oh, it's a cat. <sighs> oh, it has some damage. Put that back. Yeah, there's an old mixing bowl. Probably from like the 1930s. That's $10. I'm not sure for 10 I wonder if they could give any discounts. Those are fancy. Alright, I want to get see a price on this Westmoreland box. $7.99. Pretty sure that's Westmoreland. Yeah, you can see the mark. Not sure how much the smaller ones go for. Hmm. Um. Oh, look. There's a Costa Boda snowball. <laughs> Let me take a look. I think I see the mark <clears throat> for one ninety nine. I got that. I got that other one at home. That's just one. So now we have two. Yes. I want to check to see if this is Yankee Candle, the one underneath with the butterfly. Um, I actually don't think it is. I feel like it would be marked Yankee Candle. Oh, look at that, vintage deer. Um, I think it's for a lamp. Oh, it is for a lamp. Oh, someone took it apart. I wonder if we could um, add a lamp to it. <laughs> right. <laughs> or a white. <laughs> For $2.99. It's not bad. Let's see if there's any dolls in here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have all these. There's a certain name for these kind of dolls. I forget. Oh wow, her head is cut off. Um, there's the... Let me see what is down here. I see a ceramic. <laughs> All right, well, she has a beard. Look at her hair, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that one's kind of pretty with the roses. Any down here? Um, not seen any cupcakes. They got the music playing, so I gotta keep talking. We got the Asian. And then, okay, I'm done looking through that box. And Christmas is half off. Maybe there's um, more Christopher Radko. That's a uh, mercury glass. I forget the price she wanted for that, but it is half off now. This uh, precious moments. 
That one is interesting. Made in China. I thought that would have been Germany. All right. Um, Budweiser. <clears throat> okay, so I was digging through some of, of the toys and I found a G.I. Joe. I'm not sure how much that is. And then we found this um, picture frame. It has a red on the bag, velvet, and it's convict glass. Convict. It's for $1.99. We'll get that. Jewelry is half, um, 30% off, you said? Yep. I think I might get this art glass um, brooch. Um, it's probably handmade, like an artisan. So uh, I found this. Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann. Made in Hong Kong. Oh, cool. So it's vintage. How much is that? $2. And 30% off. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. Anything else back here? No, oh, I like this blue. I'd probably wear it. <laughs> you probably could. <laughs> uh, it's um, enamel. Yeah. Is it? Or just metal. I don't know. Look at the green. All right, so I found these are made in Hong Kong for $2.99 each. I think those are kind of neat. I don't see any damage. I'm gonna get these. Look, it's you and me. <laughs> All right, so I actually wanted to look at these plates underneath. Let me take a look. It has a rooster um, poppy trail. Ooh, I think I'm gonna get these. Let me see what this is. Let me open it up. Oh, it has to be cracked. A little, um, I don't know what that is. Cheat for cheese or butter? <laughs> Let me take a look in here. Just wanna see that figurine. Uh, made in Japan. Avon. All right, I'm not seeing anything else in there. Now, what about this um plastic Hewitt's Garden Center? It's just a garden ornament. Let's see what this set is. Um, Yankee Candle. Ten dollars for the tray and. Creamer and sugar with no lid. We're gonna leave that. What about these gold bowls back here? It feels like milk glass. It's not marked. Three forty nine. dollars Alright, nothing down here. We got the music playing. This looks like a southwestern teapot. Let me take a look at the bottom. Ooh, it's signed. And for $5.99. I think I'm gonna put that in. Of course, I have to look for chips. Any kind of damage. I wonder if that's a hobbyist. I can't really tell. Put that in. All right. Let's go around the corner. Ooh, a fresh cart. Let me see what this is. Just a pottery bowl. I wonder if that's supposed to sit in like um, on top of um, like a rack. I'll put that back. All right, let's check to see if this glows. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I have a check. We have this plaque right here. Um, hen feathers, one ninety nine from Home Goods. What about this pottery? Ah, uh, that just looks like a school art project. Oh, there's more pottery. I love it. Two ninety nine. dollars um, It's a little bit sloppy, to tell you the truth. I'm actually going to leave that. There's uh, another pottery. Um, it is signed by Nina for two ninety nine. dollars I can't resist it. I love that bluish purple green glaze that in. All right, so I cheated and I looked this up before I showed you guys. <laughs> it's Taylor and MG Japan for $20 for the set. I looked the teapot up. It sells for $24.99. I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, what about this $4.99 made in Japan? Ooh, what about down here? Look at the bunnies. 
that's definitely a hobbyist 1978 and it comes with a lid i actually kind of like it there's these um tea light holders those look like they're southwestern um two dollars each um they actually feel like they're newer what about that mug be boss <laughs> i love it Oh, it's a wooden box. Let me see how much that is. $6.99. Um, let me see what the colors are. So white and blue are half off and green is $1.49. I'm not sure about $7 for this box. It looks a little bit newer. For $7, I'm going to leave it. Oh, look at this cat. It's a resin. Or it's not resin, it's a type of plastic. The ears are chipped. I totally would have gotten that. I got a purse. Michael's purse. <laughs> okay, uh, what about these? These are a different shape. Hmm. Yeah, right? It's a uh, trinket box. Probably made in China for $2.99. That's all right. Let's take a look at this set. $3.99, then $2.99. It's, um, oh, it's restaurant wear. Mare China. A different pattern. It's missing the lid, though, on the sugar. I don't know. That's a different design with the black. All right, so I looked this up on eBay. The pattern is called Black Arbor. I'm not sure if this is the, um, I don't think that's the lid. So the creamer when I have a lid. That would be on the sugar. So I think I'm gonna get these. I could probably get like 20 something for the creamer and probably 15 or more for the sugar without the lid. So I'm gonna put those in. Maybe I'll find the lid if I look around a little more. I always like grabbing the older carts. <laughs> Let's see. Tea light holders. This looks like it's a little bit older. Oh, that's the Lou Ray. Oh, it has a lot of chipping for $1.99. Ain't bad for a serving dish. Gonna leave that, unfortunately. Teleflora. <laughs> Taking a look at the new shelving. So I was right. They're going to add all this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be all hard goods. So oh, this was a shell ornament. Oh, that's cool. It has a zebra on there. <laughs> cool. It's a pottery bowl. Pottery mug. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's $2.99. Norwich, New York. That's some really pulley glasses. Oh, it has some weight to it. It has a nice gold design on there for $1.99. This one is missing some gold. Let me take a look at these dishes. Um, it has some roses. Um, that's Havlon France, and it has the pattern name on there. I have to look that up. What about that? It's kind of cool. Just a glass. All right, so I looked these up quick. Um, a lot of people have them listed and they don't sell for too much. So I'm gonna leave those. All right, so we didn't see anything else. Um, we did find yeah, this. Them. Go Dog Go. It's, um, I think a Dr. Seuss uh, books. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's vintage. Let me look at the bottom again. Yeah, Go Dog Go. I'm not sure. That's, um, that has to be vintage. Yeah. We didn't find any sold comps or nobody has the bowl or cup. So we're not sure how much we're going to price it for. All right. I'm just going to show everybody some items that we got from a online auction. And uh, a few items that I got from an estate sale that wasn't really worth um, filming. There was loud music and there wasn't too much. I'm going to start with this as Yankee Candle. I um, only paid 50 cents for this and there's no damage. Still has to be clean on the inside, but it has like this 
sugar, um, glitter, <laughs> and it has a little bit of luster. I'm not sure how much I could get for that. Originally it was $14.99. All right, next up are these three cookie jars. We have the Monk. These are made by Red Wing. This one is a little bit older. Wait, one of these is a little bit older. Um, this one has a little bit of chipping um, on the back. These two ladies, we have the blue and then the yellow. That one has a chip. One of these did, has no damage. I think it's this one. I'll show you the mark underneath. There, this is the older one, I believe, by that mark. So they're made by Red Wing. Um, I paid 25 for three of them. I believe they sell for, how much, Michael? I don't even know. I feel like I looked it it's up about, about 20 to 30 each. This one, a little bit more, or the blue one is a little bit more. That's a little bit harder to find. Um, oh, the prices were kind of all over the place. Yeah. So, um, shipping these might be a little bit of a pain. we got to use a bigger box. So I'm not sure if we're going to put them on eBay or in our booth. That's going to take a lot of space in the case, though. So we got to think about that. I want to show everybody... Let me get this out of the way. I already showed everybody this in the video. The Nina um, Pottery Bowl. I love the blue and the glaze on that. So we're going to be listing these. Um, this is Polish Pottery. You can see the mark on the back. I paid $3.99 at City Mission. And this is brand new. Um, I love the colors on this. And I believe the pattern is Daisy. It looks like daisies to me. Um, so we could probably get like 18 to 20 for that. Then we have some uranium glass. Um, these are probably made in the 1930s. A little bit of the gold is missing. It has a black base. Some gold missing up there. But I, think, um, I thought it was kind of neat that it has the black with the green. A little bit different. And we have these amber glass etched um, candle holders. Oh, let's go to the bear. <laughs> this is from the state sale. It's Dandy Bear. It's a little box, heart box, with roses and lace. Oh, I thought it still had the tag on it. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. But um, people still collect these type of bears, probably from the 80s or 90s paid 50 cents for that I can't remember if I showed everybody I think we got this at Goodwill a while ago it has the flower frog on the inside black glass I don't think it's amethyst though I can't really tell um, a little bit of scratches next one of our friends gave us this art glass it's um I don't believe it's Murano she didn't pay $24.99 she only paid a dollar and um, she just gave it to us. The art glass heart. I thought it was pretty. And it's thoughtful that she thought of us. And then we have the ice bucket with the three glasses. That came in a lot at the auction. So we got two of these council bowls. This is the amber with a pretty gold. This is probably from the 1930s, I would say. Depression glass. Um, you can see the detail. I'm not even sure if we want to ship this. <laughs> it's large and heavy. Let's switch it out. Let's do the green one. I like this one. But it's so fragile. It has like the honeycomb design. And the gold detail. Some of the gold is missing, but it just gives it more of an antique look. So we're not sure if we're going to do this in the booth. See how large and heavy it is? We'll probably have to use a large box. And it doesn't glow. We already checked. Kind of goes with those. Then we have this here Redware Rooster. It's cold painted and a lot of the paint is missing, which is typical for cold painted pottery. I'm not sure how much we could get for that, but 
I can't remember where we got that. I think that was from our friend Kim. Um, I don't think we paid anything for it. So if anybody's interested in any of this stuff, let us know. And we have these two um, oil infusers. We had them sitting on the shelf for a while and they were not listed. So we're gonna do that now. I thought they were kind of cool. That looks like a mushroom. This one has a little um, dingly thing on the bottom. <laughs> All right, let me put those away back here. I thought they're kind of neat. You could put um, different color oil in there. All right, I'm just pulling stuff out that I'm um, not sure if I showed everybody. We have the Chef Salt, Salty and Peppy. <laughs> They're made in Japan. They're wood. They're in excellent condition. These aren't listed yet, so we're going to do that tonight. Uh, so Michael did a little bit of research, and these three pottery bowls are for ramen noodles. And ramen noodles are popular now. Uh, we could probably get like $30 to $40 for the set of three. Uh, we're still researching the mark on the bottom, but it's probably just like a generic from Asia maybe but I thought it was a pretty pattern all right well that is it for tonight um, make sure you like comment and subscribe and check out our eBay store we're still running the 20% off sale it seems like it's working for us have anything to say nope <laughs> all right we'll see everybody next time bye, bye.